Johnny Lang. It's so great to meet you. Yeah, I've been following this guy since I was 15. We're very excited to be here in Southern Oregon today. Thanks for bringing us down here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've got a lot of cool stuff going on. You're on tour right now, as well as the first live album. Tell me about the new CD. We've been waiting for something like this for a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> yeah, I, I have too, actually. Um, that seemed like the right time to do it. You know? And where did you record it? Tell me about that. I know it's kind of a cool place for you. Yeah, it was uh, recorded at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. Okay. It's just a beautiful, you know, historic yeah. venue, and it's just one of those really special, you know, venues. Yeah, well, it's nice to be proud of the record, and you recorded at a place that's special for you. You're 29 now, correct? And you've been doing this. You've been on the road on and off for, like, 10 years. What has changed from that first tour to now? Is, is it just, like, no big deal now, or is it still, do you still get the nerves, and what's kind of the schedule like for you? You know, it, it still feels, um, you know, the same to me. I, I still love it and um, am every bit as, you know, uh, inspired on stage, mm -hmm. I think. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of things factor into that. You know, one of the biggest things is just having people that, that you like <laughs> yeah. traveling with you. Yeah, totally. And we've got a great bunch of group of people, and, and uh, it's kind of more like a family thing. So and this is a band that, that you've really had helps. for a while, right? You guys are just, this is just part of life. You're just on the road. Right. Yeah. Have you discovered, like, a favorite city from being on tour? I'm sure it's nice to be able to have that as your job, to go to so many great cities. Yeah. Is there a favorite? It's really neat. Um, I've got a lot of favorite cities. <laughs> um, but it, it is really neat because, you, you know, you get to know people through the years. Mm -hmm. And um, you get, you know, it's like, it's neat to wake up in a town that mm -hmm. you don't know where you're going, but... So you're like, oh, there's a good place to eat over here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of get to know, you know, America. So bit. wherever you are, it's just that's where you're supposed to be at at yeah, that moment. Exactly. And you started playing guitar at 12. Is that oh, accurate? Yeah, I was like 13, 12, 13. So. So a couple years later, I'm at home seeing you on the Disney Channel. You were like blowing up. This was, you know, in the late 90s. I'm just curious. When did you know that you had a gift musically? <laughs> um, well, I always knew that I just loved music, you know. And, and um, I, I remember, you know, some of my earliest mem memories are just singing with my mom and sisters and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, so I, I've always really, really loved music. And always, you guys are a musical family. Yeah, I just always knew that's what I wanted to do, you know. And you did it. Good for you. What, what's the songwriting process like for you? It's one thing to be talented and love music, but not everyone can write a good song. You've got a few good songs, my friend. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's something I'm getting better at. You know, I, I still to to really finish a song um, lyrically, I usually need need some help mm -hmm. uh, with that because it's, cool. it's it can be challenging for for me to fully get my ideas out. But um, but no, I, I love writing songs. It's I've I've come to enjoy that as much as any other part of it. So some of the material, I'm just curious. I'm sure a lot of people are curious. Who lied to you? <laughs> There's so much passion behind behind those vocals. I mean, I've tried to sing it in my car. It's impossible. I mean, how do you get that out of there? <laughs> well, I, that's one that I did not write. So. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. We got the truth. That's yeah, great. Yeah, so I can't. Um, it's yeah, not good to be lied to. I can't to, say so. what, what, who he's singing about. But the message is clear. And also, you have that great song about sitting in a red light, one of my personal favorites. What have you accomplished while sitting at a red light that's changed your life? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's like, it's more like a metaphor, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like those things in life that, because um, you're just, it seems like you're always moving, moving, trying to make a living or support your family or do something, mm -hmm. you know? It's always the next thing, the next yeah, thing. Yeah, and, you know, you get those moments where you get to just kind of, you know, evaluate everything mm -hmm. in life. and. It's kind of the Sometimes you're at a red light. I think that's right. awesome. <laughs>